Story recapped here. Today I'm going to explain an action, horror, and thriller film called The Hunt. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Inside an office, a woman named Athena Stone exchanges text messages with her friends and anticipates an upcoming hunt in an undisclosed manner. The people in the group message refuse to talk about it, ending the conversation abruptly. On a private jet, Richard, who is one of the elites, is offered caviar by the flight attendant. Still, he intimidates her by making a joke about the irony of her serving caviar without even having the chance to taste it. As this happens, a man named Randy wakes up, clueless about his whereabouts or where he is headed to. One of the passengers, who claims to be a doctor, calms him down and instructs him to lay down. Randy follows his instructions and does as he says, so he gets on his back in the aisle. Out of nowhere, the doctor stabs his neck with a pen, causing blood to squirt from him. Angered by this, Randy grabs a champagne bottle and hits the doctor with it before using it as a sharp weapon. Meanwhile, Athena, who owns the jet, is awakened by the sudden commotion and gets up to see what is happening. On her way out, she grabs one of her heels while the other passengers are panicking in the common area. Not long after that, Athena uses her shoe to stab Randy directly in the eyes, injuring him. She walks away without any remorse saying, war is war. Randy is dragged into a secluded part of the jet, where he sees another woman with an alias, Yoga Pants, lying unconscious just before he dies. At daybreak, Yoga Pants wakes up gagged in the middle of nowhere. She attempts to remove the gag, but it is locked from behind, causing her to be frightened. From a distance, she sees a woman with the name tag Crystal, creating a makeshift compass and paying her no mind. After multiple calls, the woman walks away in the northern direction. Yoga Pants finally sees other people and decides to follow them in the open field where a big box lies in the middle. A man named Chris attempts to open it using a crowbar, but Don, another participant, stops him from doing so and runs away, thinking that it may be explosive. Chris opens the box, where a piglet comes out from it, but then he realizes that there is something more inside. He drags a set of weapons displayed from a tool organizer, making the other participants gather in the middle. Desperate to find out about their situation, Yoga Pants comes to the group but finds a small envelope along the way, where she sees the keys to free them from the gags. First, she unlocks the thing from Trucker, who also helps remove the gag of the other participants. Now that they can freely talk, they discuss their use of weapons before distributing it among all of them for defense, if ever they need it. Suddenly, an unseen enemy fires a bullet at them, causing them to run and take cover. Just as Yoga Pants realizes the situation they are in, she gets hit, ultimately killing her at that instant. The sight of this freezes Trucker for a split second before finding another woman who bravely runs to the woods but falls into a pit of spikes. He comes to her rescue, only to find out that the spikes are through her body, but helps her up anyway after she begged him to. As the both of them make their way to the woods, Trucker accidentally steps on a landmine, realizing that it is the end of him. After it explodes, another participant, Moses, comes out and sees that the woman has ended up in the pit of spikes again, with only her upper body left. He approaches her without knowing what course of action to take, but the woman grabs the gun from him and continues to take her own life. Moses runs through the woods and finds a nearby road, which gives him hope to escape from the chaos. He reunites with three other participants, Chris, Molly, and Vanilla Ice, who attempt to climb the barbed wire to get to the other side. However, they become targeted with arrows just before Chris could climb up, and he gets shot with it. Knowing his fate, he runs back to shoot the unknown attacker but gets hit with two more arrows before a grenade is thrown at him. Desperate to find shelter, Moses, Molly, and Vanilla Ice run in the middle of the road and eventually end up in a small store run by two elderly, Miranda and Julius. Moses points the gun at them as he asks for their location, to which Miranda replies that they are in Arkansas. The three of them get more confused, realizing that they are kidnapped from different parts of the United States. Agitated, Moses uses the phone to contact authorities and tells him about Manorgate, a conspiracy theory about rich elites brutally hunting and killing deplorables, a term they use for the lower class. Despite the pleas of Moses, the police on the other line sound indifferent to their struggles but confirm that rescue is on the way. On a corner, Molly takes a bite of a donut, which poisons her after a couple of minutes. Eventually, Miranda and Julius reveal themselves as part of the hunt, this time, they wear masks to protect themselves from the poison gas to get rid of the two escapees. Julius shoots Moses with a shotgun and puts the gas closer to Vanilla Ice to end their lives, the couple cleans the store and hides the bodies in a dark room just in case another participant comes across them. Moments later, they receive a call from the others giving them a heads up on another participant approaching their store. Devilishly, the two get giddy about the information and prepare themselves for their next kill. Deranged from her situation, Crystal enters the store to buy a pack of cigarettes, but the couple sense that there is something off about her. They continue being friendly to her, but as Miranda hands her the pack, Crystal smashes her head on the counter, causing a brawl that gives her the opportunity to kill the couple in a split second. She then gathers supplies and heads outside, where a pickup truck is parked. While inspecting it, she rips the fake license plate and finds a Croatian plate underneath, ascertaining that they are actually in Croatia. 
Just as she is about to enter the vehicle, she notices a thread that is wired to a booby trap from below, which gives her no choice but to hide by the bush. A drone flies over to the store, which is controlled by the other elites, to check on Julius and Miranda. Before the drone could go near the store, Gary, a conspiracy theorist, shoots it and destroys the camera. He sees Crystal and points a gun at her, but she proves that she is not an enemy by warning him about the vehicle's door handle. With an accomplice, she makes her way to the tracks in hopes that a train would pass by and be helpful in their escape. On their way, Gary tells Crystal about the Mannergate conspiracy, the same one mentioned by Moses, where a bunch of elites kills people for sport. Finally, they hear a train approaching and board it as it gets closer. Inside, they hear faint noises, where a family of refugees comes out from hiding behind the big boxes. Despite their poor conditions, Gary is convinced that these people are crisis actors that are hired to act as if they are not enemies. Crystal feels a sense of sympathy for the refugees because they have a baby with them, telling Gary that these people are not actors. However, Gary still holds them at gunpoint, but then the interaction is interrupted when Croatian soldiers raid the train. Without a choice, Crystal and Gary toss their weapons and get down the train along with the refugees. Gary approaches one of the soldiers and tries to convince him that the refugees were placed on the train as a ploy of Manorgate, an elaborate trap to ensnare all of them, but they dismiss the idea. Suddenly, the refugee speaks to him in English, revealing that he is indeed an actor named Mike, and is one of the elite hunters embedded among the real refugees. Jokingly, he makes fun of Gary after being laughed at by the soldiers and offers a head start for Gary's cooperation because the raid was not planned. Angered by this, he knocks Mike down and secures a grenade inside his pants before running away. Mike screams alert everyone that there is a grenade inside his pants, causing everyone to take cover, leaving him to blow up into pieces. Now alone, Crystal is transported to a refugee camp, a real one, where she explains to Croatian authorities her situation. After asking for them to call the American embassy, the camp leader asks her if she is being hunted. He then reveals that another escapee named Don, has come across their camp and brings him in to meet Crystal. Both of them are eventually welcomed in the camp while they wait for the American embassy to claim them and come to their rescue. They both share a meal together, still discussing the Manorgate conspiracy theory. Not long after that, a white male, Oliver, exits his car, waves at Crystal and Don, signaling that he is an envoy from the embassy. The three of them drive through the road, and Oliver asks them questions about how they ended up in the camp. Don talks to him about the hunt, so Oliver assures them that help is on the way and that they will be home in no time. Suspicious about Oliver's demeanor, Crystal kicks him out of the car, takes the wheel, and runs him over. She and Don open the car's trunk to find Gary's lifeless body, a box labeled bribe money, and a map. Completely shaken by their situation, Crystal recalls a story of the jackrabbit and the box turtle while Don listens to her intently. Her version of the story ends with the jackrabbit killing the box turtle after losing the race, instead of the turtle succeeding at peace because the rabbit always wins. To Don, the story mirrors the situation that they are in, so he asks Crystal who, between them and the hunters, is the rabbit. Out of nowhere, the pig comes from within the woods, grabbing their attention. Meanwhile, the hunters in the bunker consist of Martin, Richard, Peter, Liberty, and Sergeant Dale, who is their tactical consultant. The group talks about how Oliver is taking longer than usual, but the topic is brushed off because of their mundane topics brought up randomly. Not long after, Richard heads outside to urinate, thinking that the field is clear as Crystal and Don are in the hands of Oliver. To his surprise, he sees Don holding the piglet when Crystal attacks him from behind and slits his neck. Sensing that something is amiss, the sergeant alerts the other hunters to take their positions. They hear thumping noises from outside and begin to worry for their safety. As bait, the pig is slid from the back door, where it is recklessly shot at. Finding the perfect time to enter, Crystal shoots at the hunters inside the bunker, killing them one by one, Liberty shoots an arrow at her but misses. As a result, Crystal stabs her using it before killing another hunter with a gun. Little did she know, the sergeant is still alive, he attacks her, but she manages to bring herself to knock him down once again. Before deciding to kill Liberty, Don asks her why they are hunting them down, to which she replies, Jesus told me to. In just a matter of seconds, Crystal mercilessly shoots her in the head. Athena calls out to Don from the radio, asking if he killed Crystal, which causes an argument between them. Crystal orders him to put down his weapon, but he refuses to do so, and she kills him, thinking that he is one of the hunters. Once again, Athena calls out to Don, but when Crystal answers, she says, I guess you better come and get me. To unveil the caller's identity from the radio, Crystal tortures the heavily wounded sergeant, who eventually gives up the location, and kills him after revealing that she is a war veteran. A flashback from a year ago reveals that Athena's group message has been leaked on the internet, which threatens her career. Her colleagues, Paul and Nicole, read the text messages that have ended online, ruining Athena's reputation. She then reveals that it is a joke, but Paul tells her that people have stirred conspiracy theories about it, creating a furor over Manorgate. Paul fires her because of the incident, but Athena is insistent that it truly is a joke. Eight months before the hunt, the group message participants, whose careers were subsequently ruined, decide to make Manorgate come true. They pick among a selection of people who shared and produced internet content relating to Manorgate. 
To feel less guilty about it, they chose people who deserve to be hunted down based on their judgment of the person's pictures on the internet. The elite hunters go through a slideshow of pictures, picking who to include in the hunt. Athena is extremely offended by a social media post from Crystal and insists on her participation as her picture comes up. Back to the present, Crystal finds the infamous manor, but before she could enter, Athena instructs her to drop the gun in the mailbox, or the ground where she stands will explode. To spare her life, Crystal follows her command and gains entrance to the grand house, where she finds pictures of the participants. She then makes her way to the kitchen, where Athena calmly prepares a sandwich for herself. When Crystal questions and confronts her, Athena mocks her personal history in great detail. She reveals that she has chosen to participate because of her opinionated post on the internet. Crystal informs Athena that she has mistaken her identity with another woman named Crystal from her hometown, but her name is spelled May with a Y rather than with an E. Having too much of Athena's speech, Crystal attempts to stab her with a knife, which causes the drawn-out fight between the both of them. With Athena's months of training and Crystal's military background, they struggle to bring each other down because of their skills. Crystal throws a bottle of expensive champagne at Athena, but she catches it with all her will because of its price. After crashing by the fireplace, Athena brings out a shotgun, but Crystal manages to take cover inside a room. As Athena follows her, she attacks her and escapes back downstairs. Eventually, Athena stabs her once in the stomach, which puts her at an advantage. The fight continues after they crash themselves into a glass window, slowing them down. However, the brawl continues inside, where Athena stabs Crystal with a food processor with dual blades. Not long after, Crystal impales Athena as well, using the blade stuck on her, causing both of them to lie on the floor, where Athena dies. After seeing a jackrabbit appear near her, Crystal gets a second wind and gets back up, refusing to be on the losing side. She recalls her version of the tale once again and eats the sandwich that Athena has intended to eat. To heal her wounds, she cauterizes them, dresses in Athena's luxurious clothes, takes the dog, and leaves on her jet as well. Inside, she informs the pilot and the flight attendant that their bosses are all dead and that she is behind the killings. Before the plane takes off, she shares caviar and champagne with the flight attendant, who has been discriminated against by one of the elites the day before. Finally, Crystal announces herself as the hunt's victor. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.